Tesla's latest Model 2 prototype just rolled out of testing with three new SpaceX-inspired designs that break every convention Detroit spent a century building. Elon Musk even hinted. It's especially not just a revolution in vehicle design, but a revolution in vehicle manufacturing. Well, these designs are already forcing analysts to question whether the small EV segment is about to be rewritten from the chassis out. So what exactly are they? And how shockingly practical are they to make the entire industry get shocked? Every detail, every engineering decision, every manufacturing disruption will be broken down in the next 12 minutes. And if you want more deep dives like this, help us cross 15,179 subscribers by tapping subscribe and clicking that notification bell like it's part of your daily routine. Let's get into the analysis. 1. How does cryogenic resistant composite offer 40% weight reduction while maintaining vehicle durability? It sounds unbelievable at first, but Tesla adapted carbon fiber reinforced polymers infused with silica aerogels, which are the same type used inside SpaceX's Starship propellant tanks. This combination achieves a confirmed 40% weight reduction compared to common automotive steels used in cars like the Chevrolet Bolt while still maintaining an incredible tensile strength of 1,200 megapascals. And because the composite layers are only 0.15 inches thick across the unibody. With thermal barriers built directly inside, the structure can handle temperature swings from minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit without cracking or warping. The entire body is integrated through automated robotic welding similar to SpaceX's assembly lines allowing Tesla to create one seamless shell that fully supports a 3,500-pound gross vehicle weight, even with a lighter body. Using rocket-grade composites lets Tesla assemble the Model 2 at speeds up to 50% faster than stamping heavy metal, and it reduces the car's curb weight to only 2,400 pounds, compared to the 3,800-pound average for compact electric vehicles. A drop of this size shakes the entire $80 billion materials supply chain because it lowers part counts, cuts shipping costs, and improves efficiency instantly. For seniors living in New York, where stop-and-go driving is range, the improved lightweight efficiency can save an estimated $400 annually on electricity compared to heavier traditional electric vehicles. And for the Model 2 itself, it transforms the car into something far more adaptable. At 170 inches long, which is similar to a Toyota Corolla, the lighter composite opens the door for modular add-ons like cargo pods or mobility extensions that can be attached without overloading the chassis. In Texas or Florida, where temperatures swing wildly, the thermal stability of cryogenic composites means less expansion, fewer cracks, and 25% lower maintenance costs dropping expected yearly service from $800 to around $600. Even more impressive, the reduced weight shortens braking distances by about 15 feet at 60 miles per hour, creating a real safety improvement for older drivers with slower reaction times. The long-term durability comes straight from its SpaceX origins. The material used in Starship's tanks is tested for over 100 cryogenic cycles, something standard automotive materials never experience. That same resilience gives the Model 2 an estimated 250,000-mile body lifespan, far beyond the 180,000-mile average for many compact vehicles today. Real-world tests show this material gives four times better corrosion resistance on salty Florida roads, eliminating the need for $300 protective coatings. And because the car is lighter, the range increases by about 20% in daily stop-and-go traffic. Driving a Model 2 built with cryogenic-resistant composites is like having a companion that stays strong no matter the weather. Never cracking, never corroding, never weighing you down. For retirees or fixed-income drivers, it's the peace of mind of knowing the car will stay dependable year after year without those unexpected repair bills that wreck a budget. It's confidence, freedom, and security wrapped inside a material originally engineered for rockets. Before we move on, is a 40% lighter body that still outperforms steel make you feel safer? 
If it gives you more independence or simply amazes you at how fast this technology is advancing, then comment 40% below so I know you're with me. Let's come to the next design. 2. How does Starlink Integrated Aerodynamics elevate a 0.19 drag coefficient? This second SpaceX-derived breakthrough comes directly from Starship's heat shield logic. Tesla reworks curved stainless panels that hide Starlink antennas under the surface, allowing the Model 2 to shape airflow in real time. At speeds above 50 miles per hour, microflaps subtly adjust based on satellite-fed wind data, allowing the body to maintain a drag coefficient of 0.19, far cleaner than the current Model 3's 0.23. Specifically, the panels measure only 0.08 inches thick, and the built-in phased array Starlink receiver pulls 100 megabits per second of data to anticipate crosswinds. The result is up to 25% extended range in Florida's unpredictable coastal winds, where gusts normally punish efficiency. And everything centers on that 0.19 drag coefficient, which is the key that unlocks this massive leap. This fusion of satellite intelligence and vehicle aerodynamics is what catches the industry off guard. The Model 2 becomes a node in a satellite network, while rival brands like Rivian are still tied to groundbound 5G. That puts them 15% behind in efficiency, forcing them to rethink their entire design approach because once consumers see a 0.19 drag coefficient at this price point, expectations change overnight. Energy consumption drops from 0.30 kilowatt hour per mile to 0.15 kilowatt hour per mile, shaking the entire $50 billion charging ecosystem. Seniors suddenly save $300 every year on electricity alone. And with drag this low, the Model 2 transforms into a hyper-efficient tiny house mobile, giving you room to stretch. Seats fold into a 40 cubic foot rest area, perfect for long trips to see your kids or grandkids. Made possible because the 0.19 coefficient stretches every mile from the battery. In New York, winters at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, where most electric vehicles lose 20% range, the aerodynamic efficiency holds heat, protects the battery, and keeps real-world range stable. And Starlink's voice-activated emergency calls add an extra layer of confidence for anyone with limited mobility. Wind resistance is cut sharply at lower speeds, and seniors typically drive 20 miles per hour slower, which means they actually get the maximum benefit of the 0.19 coefficient daily. Wind noise drops by 10 decibels, making highway travel quieter and less fatiguing, especially on long Florida routes. Everything lines up. The speed senior drivers prefer, the places they live, the conditions they face, all match perfectly with this aerodynamic logic. Whether they are fighting winter winds in New York or cruising down bright Texas highways, the Model 2 makes driving smoother, cheaper, and more predictable. That confidence, knowing you can go farther without fear, is priceless. It is freedom. It is independence. It is the feeling of being capable and adventurous again. 3. How do thermal shells with phase change panels boost senior comfort? Tesla brings a third layer of SpaceX thinking into the Model 2 by directly adapting the thermal strategies used in habitat modules. The exterior and cabin shell use vacuum-insulated panels placed inside the doors and the roof, working alongside slim phase-change material layers hidden behind the interior trim. These layers absorb heat when the cabin rises above ideal temperatures and release it when the cabin cools down. Together, they deliver an R40 insulation value, something practically unheard of in the compact EV segment. An R40 rating is not a marketing number. It is a science-based measure of thermal resistance, showing how well the material slows down heat movement. In homes, you would need around 12 inches of cellulose insulation or 3.5 to 7 inches of spray foam to match that performance. Tesla achieves the equivalent with thin, lightweight materials designed for a car. The vacuum-insulated panels are only 0.4 inches thick, yet offer an R value of 40 per inch, compared to the weak R5 of standard automotive foam. 
The phase change layers use paraffin-based composites at 0.2 inches thick, melting at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, to keep the cabin stable during temperature spikes. Pair these with a 2.5 kilowatt variable speed heat pump and zoned climate controls that warm seats up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and footwells up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and you get a vehicle that behaves like a personal microhabitat. The result is temperature stability, lower stress on the battery, and less HVAC workload. The R40 insulation barrier is doing the heavy lifting in the background, blocking heat transfer before the air system even needs to react. Recently, no automaker has blended space-grade insulation with automotive climate systems at this price point. Now, rivals like Ford are investigating similar materials, but Tesla's R40 standard puts them years ahead. This tech challenges long-held assumptions by cutting HVAC runtime by 45%, dropping energy use from 1.5 kilowatt hour per hour to 0.8 kilowatt hour per hour. That shakes the entire $25 billion global climate control sector. Seniors in California could save around $250 a year in energy costs over 8,000 miles, thanks to the thermal shell's efficiency. Would a cabin that stays stable in summer heat and winter cold make you feel safer and more in control? If this SpaceX-grade comfort upgrade actually makes sense to you, comment I like, so I know you feel the difference. Every piece of technology we broke down today is pointing out one very clear future. Tesla Model 2 is not just another affordable EV. It is the first true SpaceX-inspired mobility platform built for real American families, especially the seniors who need reliability, comfort, and safety more than ever. If these breakthroughs made you see the Model 2 differently, type Model 2 in the comments to share your thoughts with other Tesla fans on Auto Gear Shift. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve before the rest of the internet wakes up to what Tesla is actually building, make sure you lock in your spot by subscribing. We're aiming for a bigger community, and every single one of you helps keep this channel independent, sharp, and focused on real tech. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.